can't believe she told him to shave off his beard as well. It's like, Aloy, you're allowed to have an opinion. It's coming down heavy. But there's no need to be rude about it. Not everyone is, is brave enough to understand that beards are awesome. You're allowed to be wrong. But you can be not wrong and not a dick at the same time. It is allowed. So, mistakes were made. Aloy does seem to stick to the walls, though, which is interesting. It does... Uh, I mean, I guess that is wall climbing. Here we are. Here we are, indeed. Looks like there's another device up here. Lens of midday. I'll tuck this away for now. Uh, go... Let me have a look at my inventory. Yeah, we've got the lens of dawn, the lens of midday, and the lens of morning. So, I'm guessing we need evening? Twilight, maybe? I could try and destroy the barrels with my not hook shot. Oh, good call. Very good call, actually. Thank you very much for that. I hadn't... I, I had almost forgotten I that I had the, the not hook shot. Valley up here. No wonder the Karja built this watchtower. I want that plant so bad. Could I reach it, I wonder? There's nothing, it appears, for me to hook onto, though, sadly. Let me see. Are there any other boxes over there? Because I'm not going to jump over there just for one plant, but no, there doesn't appear to be. Okay. I can almost see the entire valley up here. No wonder the Karja built this watchtower. Okay, that is actually worthy of another picture. First and foremost, look to me. Uh, oh, we can't have different... Ah, we can't have different... Um, poses. Let's try and get the valley in view, but sort of looking out as if Aloy is looking in that direction. A uh, little, little bit too much in that direction now. Uh, look at me over here, please. Also, we want a different expression, obviously. Focused. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, maybe get you to look just a little bit to the side. And down. Let's try another one. That actually looks kind of nice, but not quite as means business is focused. Kind of over the shoulder cam. Where are you looking there? Oh, you're looking directly in that direction. What I need to do is move towards the distance so that it actually looks like Aloy is staring into the valley. Let's get her face in view and then draw back a little bit. I think that is actually quite a nice picture. I, I'm going to move her face a little bit more in this direction because the distant cliffs are a bit darker, so it gives more contrast against her skin. I bet you all regret teaching me about the photo mode now, don't you? Yes. Too late. Uh, border? Why would I want that? Um, what? <laughs> Uh, 
we won't have any border, but that was actually kind of funny. Uh, vignette. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Done and done. Alright, let's make our way down. Get him Maybe it's a camera drone. <laughs> yes, Aloy has a personal camera drone. Follows her everywhere she goes. Just like all budding Instagram models. Okay, is there anything else that we haven't grabbed? We've got... Blocked path, blocked path. I like that it shows me the blocked paths, by the way. That's actually pretty cool. That looks suspicious. Hmm, yeah, suspicious. That definitely is suspicious also. Here is suspicious. There's so many suspicious places. But I guess part of this is that I can... Uh, I actually looked down the valley. That's kind of cool. Right then. In terms of quests. Active. Go to chain scrape. Two. Find errand. Main. To the brink. Uh, right. See... It says go to Chain Scrape and then find Aaron, but I want to do it in the other other way around. She calls it silence after how annoying it is to get it to leave. <laughs> well played, chat. I approve. Also, I just slurped in your ear and I feel bad about it. But also, on some level, a little bit satisfied. Now, how far down can my focus... Oh, there we are. We can actually see things that far down. That's pretty impressive. Uh, what I'm not seeing in the valley, though I don't know if it would render. I mean, it's certainly rendering geometry, but it... Uh, sorry, uh, like... Uh, the geography, I meant to say. But I'm not seeing any... Uh, tall necks. Uh, it is tall necks, right? It's not long necks. Long necks is little foot. Yeah, tea time is going to be very, very soon. Thank you for reminding me, Jerry. Ooh. One that... Aha! I actually appreciate that a lot. A natural one. Useful for making dyes. That I will one day be able to use. But not right now. Uh, not right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's repel down. Okay. 250 or 91. I guess we should go to the town. You know what, chat? I have I have punished you. I have forced you to put up with my... I've got to investigate everything but my quest location nonsense for so long. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear, too. Hooray! Crafting! Any plants? Oh, drop. Thank you. Now then. Oh, acid. Huh. Duly noted. Duly noted. One. Acid will do a lot of damage. Three. I think three. Yep, yep. 
Uh, let's tag your parts first. Don't mind me. What I'm looking for is to see whether it actually knocks off any of their armor plating. I would assume it does. But I can't be certain. Well, I've stolen your bits, so that's good enough for me. I do like how if they can't get to you, they're like, yeah, no. Just big fat nope. My levels of nope are extreme. Because that's absolutely... That absolutely makes sense for an AI. It's like, yeah, no, this is an unwinnable fight. Why would I take part? Can I actually hit you from over here? I don't think I can. No, that's a shame. Oh, well. My levels of cheese are somewhat limited. For the beer. Right. Need to hit it while it's covered in acid. I don't really, though, do I? Well, that was a bad shot. That was a double bad shot. How are you? And no, they're outside of my range now. Um, you know what, though? That, that does raise a question for me. What? Like, I thought I understood the the nature of the arrows, but let's have a look. A balance arrow that fit with a small sack, sack of metal bite used by certain hunter bows. It can be fired at medium range to corrode enemies. But what does corrosion do? I'm sure there's somewhere that explains that. Rune state on your target damages and weakens its armor, reducing its damage resistance. Very well. There we go. Thank you very much, game. Seems you heard my uh, my cries. It's fallen. Good. Call back up though. really do badly need to increase my weapon stamina so I can get more of these shots off before something uh, before I have to stop zooming I guess the face is always a weak spot then uh because I definitely didn't hit it in a weak place just now. Interesting. got extra um, experience though for the corrosion kill. So not all bad. Always, always worth going for some sort of uh, extra damage type or sneak attack or weakness. Because if you're going to kill her anyway, you may as well get the extra EXP for it. I have no idea what the maximum level is in this. If it's Anything like the original and level 50 or more than that. Uh, 
let's grab you. I mean, we're going to go to town now and perhaps do some crafting, so... Makes a lot of sense, I mean, to go there with a bunch of upgrade bits. Close to our next level as well. Let's ensure I come right. Yeah. Do you think we should come right shower um a stream? I was them how gashy uh, they actually come right. In fact, a very small number of people are going to be able to understand Welsh. I do try to be as inclusive as I can, whilst also being incredibly proud of my language. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Erend took it down. Ground soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Ah, uh, you're not actually the only uh, Welsh speaker who drops by, as it happens, and uh, out of ridiculously. Ridiculous levels of cuteness, quite a lot of people in chat have picked up a couple of Welsh phrases, so it's not at all uncommon to see people popping in and saying borida or pronoun da, um, or asking, you know, sitoti, things like that. So, yeah, the, the, there's about fluent speakers. Um, I probably said there's about four or five names that I recognise who speak well enough. Well, I, I couldn't, I couldn't actually attest to whether they they uh, speak fluently. Um, as far as I know, I am one of the only people that is in my streams for whom Welsh is uh, Mamiaith, But there's enough. Uh, there's at least three or four people who can speak it. Oh, Askel Kevin Rita Valen. The Wax must have got these Osram. I hope Aaron and the other Vanguard are okay. But... There we are. Let's have a look. Askel Kamrai Kefeli, V. Wedding Askel Kamramni. You know, I'm not actually sure what the name of that school is anymore because it's kind of changed. So, I'm not even sure if it's in two parts anymore, so I, I couldn't tell you. The rest of chat is like, what? I can grab this from my stash later. This is the most Welsh I've ever heard Avak speak in one time. Also, I am completely lost. Oh, that that being said, you have occasionally heard me singing Welsh. Not a small number of people in here have heard me singing Mambayanui. Okay. Let's have a look around then. <laughs> Thanks, KB Warrior. Like I said, I do try to, to keep the chat as inclusive as I can. But, uh, yeah... It, <laughs> there have been there have been attempts to get uh, a channel point reward for like an entirely Welsh stream, and it's not entirely off the cards. But I do worry that 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 might it would be fun for a couple of people for like an hour, but they would be completely lost. If I could trust some sort of uh, closed caption translation system enough, then I might go for it. But I, I don't want a bunch of people to be like, I this this is cool listening to the mouth sounds you're making, but I have no idea what you're actually talking about. There we go. Just wanted to stop by and say hi, as I don't want story spoilers. Also, good luck in your adventures, Avak. Oh, thank you very much, Arkham. 
Speaking about someone who often pops in and uh, says hello in Welsh, Ockham is one. Wet. It is rare not to see the first message of Ockham in chat being Sututi. Alright, I think it's time for us to jump into, into the village. I say as I go and grab all of the other things. Hi, Avak. I was starting a playthrough of Zero Dawn, but my husband's parents called and I had to stop playing because I don't want to play with the game you did. Ah, yes. Very much. <laughs> Long Game Hunter. To be them and Sharad Guy very cute. Can't speak Welsh, but I could look up phrases and things to pretend. <laughs> See, that's what makes Dapper Chat so lovely. You would actually go to the effort of looking up phrases to be able to throw out the odd odd greeting or, or question or just, you know, farewell. In a language you can't speak, but you know I speak. That's actually incredibly sweet of you. Don't think that it doesn't mean a lot, because it means a stupid amount. The less I get to speak Welsh in my day-to-day, -day, since I moved to Scotland, the more important it is every time someone says things like that. Also, the other thing, KB Worry, that uh, probably the most, most likely time you'll catch me speaking Welsh is when I'm really tired and I've been streaming for like 16 hours, because uh, then my translation brain turns off and I'll switch back to my native language. There have been occasions where I have gone several sentences before realizing I'm not speaking English. Okay, it looks like we need to go down there. It is tempted to go up there. Right, chat. Remind me. That looks like a place where there would be secrets. But it is time for tea break, so we do need to go into the, uh, into the town first. Olven can't just ignore us like this, can he? Tea break we before died because of it. Have you seen us? What are we supposed to do? Have Arnold throw his crutch at him? I mean, I I don't know. I'll I'll be there in a moment and I can tell you. Thank you very much, KB Warrior. That's really kind of you. Diochavaur. Translation EXE has shut down due to insufficient memory. Yeah. Drunk sleepy Avak speaks semi watch yes I, I speak Wenglish on occasion when uh, tipsy is more Wenglish sleepy is full Welsh that's a savior want to come in savior hello hi can I talk to you welcome to chain scrape savior thank you open up guys jar of sorters good enough for me <laughs> I like that I wonder if they would have opened up if I showed up without Jorah's orders. Because of the way he said, do you want to come in, Savior? I wonder. Forge. <gasps> Petra? Hey, Lord. I th what are you doing here? thought it was her voice. Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. Wow. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Does that mean I get your, your amazing cannon again? Because that was fantastic. Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> I right, love the Alstrom way of talking. Lad, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. I'm down with uh, this. Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. Oh. I'm headed west. Oh. Sadly. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah. Of course. Bigger gears to grind. Always. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. 
Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. I mean, not much of a choice. I am in a hurry. But saving the world. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. You know, making time Maybe for your friends. Could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Not much of a world worth saving if it's the sort of world where you can't take time to hang out with your friends, you know. Hello, Bron with love. A uh, Bron? <laughs> Born with love. Damn it. I'm now trying to read English words in Welsh. Oh, Hilvaur, KB Warrior. Thanks for dropping by, mate. It was lovely to see you in chat. If you take time to climb every mountain, but not time to have a beer with your friends. Exactly. What kind of person would I be? Ah, finally. No more, Lord. Okay. I am going to take the risk of going on a tea break here. And you can all enjoy the sounds of industry and commerce. Let's find a nice looking direction. There we are. You can look in this direction. Yeah, what would be left of the world to save if you couldn't take time to hang out with your friends? I agree. I agree. <laughs> I'm in a hurry where you'll stop and spend 30,000 hours side questing. Well, actually, well, shh, it's fine. I like in the first game how everyone's like, get out of here, Nora Savage. And I was like, it's the savior of the world. Open the door before the Kaja order us, uh, order us executed. Yeah, no, exactly. I, I do really like that. And I also love how awkward a lawyer is with this. Like, oh, please just stop. No, no, no autographs. No, no, God damn, no statues. Uh, <laughs> Maybe so finally good. someone who will out drink me, huh? Right, okay. I'm gonna step away for a few minutes. Need to make myself a cuppa. I urge you to do the same. Get a drink. It's not just important for the streamer. And we shall rendezvous back here in about uh, five, ten minutes. Well, probably more like ten minutes, It's because I'm gonna check in on all of the animals, make sure they're okay, which probably means that I'm going to poke Tilly and she's gonna be like ah you're alive good I need food uh, you know one thing leads to the next all right be right back let's have a look around now I know you see me where are we going someone is saying they know I, I see them what well you can just have to wait actually I need the campfire hello hi no okay fair enough you keep the noise down some of us brother we looking all right let's have a look in here then so we've got a couple of quests no doubt or a few places i can pick up quests but the first thing i want to do realistically is upgrade my key oh is that my quest or is this one workbench keeps it viable against higher level enemies Okay, you're a merchant of some sort, I am assuming. Hello, we meet at last. We do. I'm afraid I must move on then. Sadly. Hello. Hello. Pretty sure it's your round. I'm liking that more and more of the people are interactable now. Why, you twins? I never seen red-headed twins before. I think you may have had a little bit more to drink than you can handle. Not that I would say that aloud to an Osram, but... No, no, not really. Wait, aren't, aren't you the same... Don't you have the same face as the... The foreman of the mine? Oh my lord, maybe they're related. Oh, hello. I am most certainly so... I believe you. Never fear, my lady. You have found me. Uh, 
Right. Boy, you're that Nora machine hunter. I am indeed. I gotta say, Avak, my cat is loving watching you play this game. Thank you so much, <laughs> Westwood. I'm glad that your cat is enjoying it. I hope you are too. No star, not a rogue eye. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Fair enough. Right, so can't do shopping. That's kind of annoying, but alright. Yes. Uh, we can upgrade our resource, resource pouch. Okay, so medicinal berries goes up, food resources goes up, common resources goes up. Yeah, well, I mean everything there goes up, but uh, was just mostly seeing how it was going to go up. All right, nice. Uh, outfit upgrades. Uh, okay. Plus one potent medicine. I think I've got that on all of the previous ones, don't I? What does create job? Oh, create job probably lists it. Would you like to set this job? Yes, 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 yes. We won't have that one, but that's actually quite cool. Uh, this will add a new slot. And give me a weave, I guess. Plus one concentration, plus empty weave slot. Nice. Uh, weapon upgrades. Oh, my lord. Looks like we can upgrade all of them. Thank you so much, Demi of Derp. You know it's an Osram village when half the p place is drunk and the other half is <laughs> So true. So very true. Uh, right. Uh, overdraw damage. Right, so that's probably what the second... Um, kind of... Uh, not Chevron, but line on the reticule was, is I was overdrawing it. Sure, we'll upgrade. Weapon stats improved. And we can upgrade this one as well. And the slot has opened up. I need this scrounger spark coil for this one, which would give me more knockback power. That one's already fully upgraded. Let's have a look at you. Close range damage. I mean, the thunder sling does look interesting, so sure. There they are. Stats improved. And an empty coil slot. Now we don't have braided wire, sadly. All right. But we do have t some trap components. Sure. One blast trap. Three. And then an acid trap as well. All right. That's about all the crafting that we can do. A weave slot has been unlocked for one of your outfits. Weaves can be equipped on outfits to improve their abilities. Each outfit comes pre-equipped with a weave that must be unlocked through upgrades. Okay. Completed job. Nora anointed. Uh, outfits. Edit weaves. Currently plus two concentration... Regen and plus one potent medicine. Uh, let's have a look at the skill details. Recover concentration faster. Plus healing and healing speed. Alright, so that's what's helping us right now. We've got a weave boost and we've got the outfit boost. Choose a weave to modify. Well, we've got one empty slot, so... Increase the level of concentration plus passive boost, which provides greater concentration limit prolonged use. If I take that out, I wonder what, how this will look then. Yeah, we've only got... Oh no, it's still got two. It's level two. Hmm. Oh well, either way. Let's get concentration weave in there and also fire resistance weave. Done and done. Uh, let's just get all of these uncovered so I've not got the exclamation marks all over the place. There we are. And some more flowers. I think that's it. Okay, good. Done. It's a trap component. 
Take care, I'm Kelitov. You have a nice sleep. Calls can be applied to weapons with empty slots to improve their performance. Go to the weapons section if you're in... Have I actually got anything that I can place on my weapons, though? Fairly certain I don't. Yeah, I don't have any calls available. I can only imagine them, yes. Okay, doing a bit of uh, smelting. Hello. You just interrupt everyone you meet, or am I a special Turn case? Ah, uh, dude. Fair enough. <laughs> Moving on. Apparently, we are unwelcome here. Hello. 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 No. Okay. Fair enough then. Right. Where is? Is this the brewery? I'm not sure about that. But let's go ahead and have a peek around, see if there's... Ah, there we are. We've got a couple of things in there, it seems. A new quest over here. New quest. Unknown melee pit? Melee pit? That sounds a bit interesting, to say the very least. It was a massive anvil, yes. I thought that when I was looking at it as well. It's like, hmm... You know what? We're not Link. Let's not go into people's houses, smash their crockery, and steal their whoopies, eh? I mean, if if they're in a chest outside, well, that's just their own fault. That's basically just find his keepers then. But if it's inside, it's only find his keepers if I really, really want it. <laughs> This is definitely the brewery. Hello? Sister? Uh, let's see, there's actually quite a lot of people in here. Man, this is awesome. There's so much to do. Oh, hello. Um, I mean, it's it's a blue... It's, it's, a, it's a moderate supply cache, so I do really want... <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to uh, come and bite me in the, in the backside quite that fast, but there we go. Hello. 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 No. Okay. Fair enough. I can't talk to you. Makes me very sad, and now I'm trapped. Am I enjoying the game? Been wondering if I should get or not. I'm massively enjoying the game. Sly. Uh, uh, it's like Coop Sleep. Apologize for butchering the name. Hi. No? Okay, fair enough. Uh, yes, sure. Have a look down here. Aloy, change your mind about that brew? I did. Even Hello, I've been looking for you. Meridian needs a challenge. Play some strike. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Have I wandered into the mini game part of the game? Oh no. Uh, Chat. Do you remember when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV, and I warned you that? Like the, the one of the last things I ever did on camera was I went to the Golden Saucer and I warned everyone, it's like, yeah, no, I could spend hours just here playing Triple Triad. You know, it, it, maybe I'll end up just only playing this. You know why I never streamed it again? Because I spent the rest of forever playing Triple Triad. I didn't even remotely complete the main quest beyond that. I got to the Golden Saucer, the Saucer I lost myself to Triple Triad. That was it. Down for a game of strike. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get up. The world can save hand. itself. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh 
fire and spit. <laughs> Fair enough. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grating the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Fear? Come on. We're not savages. Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. Bristlebacks, Olvin, uh, what brought you here? Yeah, that 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 is a that is a quite a chunky tankard. I like it. That isn't a pint of beer. That is a tankard of beer. And a tankard is absolutely a unit of measure. It's just a vague unit of measure, and they're the best sort when it comes to beer. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where okay. the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. Okay, and Olvind? So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew uh. that building barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Right, okay, that kind of makes sense. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. Right, okay. So, political pl power move. You know, I have no idea who this character is, but something about her screams blacksmith to me. Oh, this is a character from the, uh, from the original game. She fashioned the weapons that we used in the final battle. Like, designed them and then, you know, made sure that they were available to us. You have to do a few side quests for her first, but uh, to get to know her. But yeah, uh, basically a friend from the first game. It's funny to me because I know a fair number of people who will get lost in mini games, while I'm the sort who will do them begrudgingly to get specific items, plots, etc., and generally hope to never touch them again. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm very much different in that regard. Uh, Prince of Thieves asks, Yo, Avak, how do you take on missions? Stealthy or charge on in? Uh, kind of a mix, but usually I favor stealth. That's where all my skill points are right now. But occasionally for a bit of spice or just because stealth fails... I will go full on, uh, full on, strong arm it. Just use brute force to solve the problem. But generally, I will almost always approach from a stealth perspective to begin with, and just because it makes things easier. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, 
After the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. <laughs> 